Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to take a look at a not well known but highly useful decorator called LRU Cache to optimize our code. LRU stands for Least Recently Used, a data structure that combines a hash table for fast lookups with a linked list for maintaining access order. The LRU Cache is a useful decorator that can make your Python programs run faster. It does this by remembering the results of expensive function calls and reusing them when the same inputs occur again. Think of it like a smart assistant that keeps track of your previous work to save you time in the future. Some of the reasons why you might want to use an LRU cache. First, it can make your program run faster, especially for functions that take a long time to execute. Second, it's really useful for functions that are called repeatedly with the same inputs. Lastly, it helps with something called memoization to track previous results to avoid doing the same work again. It serves as an efficient method to optimize computational resources in your code. Now let's go to an example to learn how LRU cache can make your code run more efficient. Import time and LRU cache function from FunTools module. To demonstrate how LRU can speed up code execution, let's use the Fibonacci example. Create a function called Fibonacci with a parameter called n for the size of the input. And to implement LRU cache function, add the LRU cache decorator on top of the function. The max size parameter is optional. Using the max size parameter, you can control how many items the cache will store before it starts evicting the least recently used ones. Setting it to none means there's no limit to the cache size. This can be particularly useful when dealing with functions that have a large number of possible inputs, as it allows you to fine tune the memory usage of your cache. Now create a Fibonacci function without caching for comparison. To test the execution time difference, create a variable called size for the number of sequence we want to calculate. Set the value to 40. Now insert the cache and non-cache functions to measure the difference in the computation time. The cache clear function here is for clearing the cache ensures that you start with a fresh cache and keep the test result consistent. Let's run the script and see the results. If we look at the output, the cache Fibonacci function took 0.001 second to finish comparing to non-cached function, which took more than 10 seconds. The reason why there is such a huge difference in the computation time is that the non-cached function has to recalculate the same Fibonacci numbers repeatedly. This leads to an exponential increase in computation time as the input grows. On the other hand, the cached version stores the results of these calculations, so it doesn't need to repeat them. Remember, in this example, we're just calculating the 40th Fibonacci number. Just imagine if we needed to calculate even larger numbers, or if we were working with more complex functions. The time savings from using LRU cache could be even more significant, especially if you work in data analytics and data science. And that covers everything in this video. I hope you found this lesson helpful and informative. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Happy coding. See you in the next one.